Hey YouTube, today we're going to be looking at a few basic firearms that I think that everybody should own. Now, there's all different types of firearm enthusiasts in this world, and not everybody is the crazy collector that has to have hundreds of firearms and have the most expensive of everything, and not everybody has to have the cheapest of everything. And I just have a few examples here in front of us. That I'm going to show you that I think are common firearms that I think everybody should own now you can choose what variation what brand what price range that you want each one of these but I think it's a good idea for the average person that's in the firearms to own each one of these and this is a basic firearm collection that the common person can obtain it's not very expensive and I'm going to show them to you one at a time. But before we do this, I'm going to show you that each one of these are not loaded. And every one of them has been safety checked. And there's no ammunition in any of these weapons. You look, the breech is open to this one. Magazine's empty. And no ammunition. So, we're going to start off with basics here this is a 12 gauge pump shotgun and I think everybody should own one of these simply because it's the cheapest and easiest and most effective home defense weapon that you can buy now this one happens to be a Remington Magnum Express 12 gauge it'll shoot three inch slugs two and three quarters it's just, and nobody, everybody knows the sound that a pump shotgun makes when somebody's coming to intrude in your home. There's no other sound just like this. Everybody should own a 12 gauge shotgun, a pump shotgun. They're 100% reliable. There's nothing to really malfunction. They're very versatile. And there's nothing more effective. You can blow a whole door off of a inside of a house and it's going to obliterate whatever's behind it it's not a lot of skill involved in it there's not a lot of aiming involved in it they're relatively inexpensive you can get a variety of different brands of them i mean it's the most bang for the buck as far as i'm concerned so everybody should own a 12 gauge pump shotgun second one we're going to talk about is an ar-15 rifle I believe everybody should own at least one AR-15 rifle. Now, I'm not the guy that thinks that you should have a whole collection and every different size and shape and all that stuff, but everybody should have a good sporting rifle they could use in a self-defense um, scenario. They could take it to the range and shoot long range with it. You know, when I say long range, up to 100 yards. And the AR-15 platform is very affordable, very modifiable. Ammunition for it is very easy to find, and um, it's just one of the one of the best rifles that you can buy. Anybody can modify these things. You can get parts for them anywhere. You can get ammunition for them anywhere. It's the most common sporting rifle in the United States right now. Everybody, it's in the firearms. Almost everybody owns one of these and it's very easy to put one together yourself it's very easy to find them they have them in all different price ranges this one happens to be a colt an older colt but you don't have to buy a colt you can buy them you can put one together yourself you can buy one of the cheaper version ones you can buy one of the more expensive version ones but i do think everybody should have a rifle so so far we have a 12 gauge shotgun pump shotgun for home defense you can go skeet shooting with it you can go target shooting with it an ar-15 rifle you can go target shooting with it you can use it for defense it's very versatile very easy to work on very easy to modify or anything so we have our shotgun and our rifle covered next thing i think everybody should own is a good carry gun and I think it should be a striker fired polymer frame gun of the caliber of your choice. The reason I like these is they're usually double stack, they're high capacity, they're very reliable, and um, 
get one that ammunition is very readily available. This is what you're going to use when you're carrying it on your person every single day for protection. Mine happens to be a Glock 30S chambered at 45 ACP because I feel that's the best caliber that somebody can carry. It offers the best power and for the capacity and for the size. I've been through this over and over and over what I think about the 45 ACP, but you don't have to choose 45. You can choose whatever you want. But this, everybody needs to have a good carry, a good reliable carry weapon to carry on them. A semi-automatic striker fired carry gun that's easily concealable. This is just happens to be the one that I choose. So, so far we have pop shotgun, AR-15, and a semi-automatic carry weapon that you can also take to the range and practice with. Last but not least, I think everybody should own a revolver. Now, this is a very common one that a lot of people have. This is a 686 model Smith & Wesson 357 Magnum. And I think the revolver that everybody should own is a 357 Magnum. And the reason I say this is, this is the most versatile revolver there is. You can shoot 38 specials or 357 magnums out of it. You can shoot very hot 357 magnum ammo, or you can shoot very light, easily to manage recoil 38 special ammo out of it. So it's basically like getting two guns in one. It's a very great range gun. You can use it for your home defense gun. You can put this in your nightstand, and nobody's going to. It'll stop any target, any perpetrator that's coming into your home. Now, you can get these in a variety of different sizes, different brands. You can get them 2.5 inch, 4 inch, 6 inch, 8 inch, whatever you choose. This one just happens to be a 6 inch one. I use this one because I thought it's the most common 357 Magnum and almost everybody buys. Doesn't mean that this is the one that you should buy. It's whatever your budget and whatever your personal um, likes are. I choose this Smith & Wesson 686 because it's just a real common one. But I think everybody should have a revolver. It's the greatest range gun to go there with. Ammunition is readily available. 38 Special and the 357 Magnum ammo are readily available. If you want to just shoot 38 Special at the range, it's a lot cheaper. 357 Magnum ammo is very powerful you want to use it for home defense it's just a great gun to own very versatile very awesome so this is the ultimate starter slash ordinary person gun collection a pump shotgun for your home defense for your skeet shooting you can use it for a whole bunch of different stuff the ar-15 rifle here once again, very versatile, very easy to work on, very affordable. Ammunition is available everywhere. Parts interchange in and out of almost every single one of these. It's just a very versatile, simple rifle to own if you were to own a rifle. A carry gun, this one happens to be a Glock, but you want to get a very common ammunition available, striker fired, compact carry weapon that you can use for self defense carry on your side and a 357 magnum revolver that you can take to the range use for home defense you don't have to worry about carrying it around capacity is going to be limited usually on those size is going to be great it's going to be very heavy but, which makes it a great range gun a very versatile gun because of the multi-caliber that it takes and it's just a great choice but anyway folks i think this is the ultimate ordinary person gun collection these are the essential firearms that every single person that are in the firearms but not into them to the extent where you have to go collecting every single different model of every different brand or they gotta have the most expensive or they gotta have every single one of whatever brand that they choose these this is a great collection here for most people and this is very obtainable i mean you can pick this entire collection of depending on what brands you get and everything under two thousand dollars you could have every single one of them 
sometimes way less than that. It depends on what brand you pick. You know, they have pump shotguns as cheap as $150 to $200. You can get an AR rifle for $500. You can get a carry compact, reliable, reliable um, carry gun for three to five hundred dollars and you can get a decent revolver for five to six hundred dollars for a 357 magnum revolver depending on what brand you you find and depending on where you buy them from but two thousand dollars or less you can have every firearm but i feel that every single person should have it's essential to own so if you have any questions on any of these weapons or you have any questions on why i chose any of these Feel free to reach out to me. I'll be glad to answer any questions you want. I'm not a firearms expert, but I've been around them a long time. I've handled a lot of firearms, and I think these are the basics right here in front of you. So anyway, folks, thank you very much for watching my video, and you folks have a great day.